News that I do not like to have to deliver. You probably heard about Speaker Pelosi's husband being attacked with a hammer. The suspect was looking for the Speaker. Well, how do you know? Because he kept saying, where's Nancy? Where's Nancy? Put Pelosi's husband in the hospital. Fractured his skull. Needed surgery. He's 82 years old. Now, we're not clear on all the details, but the attacker was arrested. I feel horribly for the Speaker and her family. They are good people. I don't care if you don't like her politics. This isn't about politics. It's about decency. They're a good family. They do not deserve this. No one does. I'm sure her husband is glad it was him and not her. And knowing the speaker, she probably wishes it was her and not him. But imagine if the speaker of the house had been bludgeoned by a hammer. Are you as embarrassed by this as I am? This is America. And yet, are you really surprised? Anytime a deranged person attacks a politician or their family, it's wrong, right? We all know that. But we also know it's an empty understanding, isn't it? Sure, every politician is going to say this. Well, there's no place for violence. And that's not enough. And I'm not even sure that I believe all of them anymore about even this. And there is good reason, my brothers and sisters, to believe that things are going to get worse. And I am no cynic. I'm an optimist, but I see how much violence is in the air. And less and less among our leaders will make a stand for being better. Now, my case could rest on January 6th and the silence and the aftermath and the distortions and running away from it and the false equivalencies alone. But there is good reason to think things are going to get worse. How do we know? Let's start taking a look, okay? We don't need just January 6th. Let me give you some stats. U.S. Capitol Police fielded about 9,600 threats last year to Senate and House members. A few weeks ago, a man smashed the windows of Senator Susan Collins, Republican from Maine, made threats. Over the summer, a man with a semi-automatic rifle showed up outside Rep Representative Pramila Jayapal's house in Washington State, Democrat. For the first time ever, members of Congress are allowed to spend campaign funds on security because there's so many serious threats. And this guy who attacked Mr. Pelosi, he's proof positive, right? The attacker had a ton of the My Pillow guy spouting nonsense on his Facebook page about election fraud and pro Putin theories and all this other uh, ugly stuff. Uh, one note about the Putin stuff you want proof that we need to make a correction? Guys like this are pro-Putin as a response to the Russia investigation because Democrats attacked Trump for being preferred by Putin. Somehow that meant to defend Trump, they needed to defend Putin. We have to be better than this, no? I know you are. You are at home and at work and with your people and your kids. But when it comes to our politics, are we? Even after Pelosi, easy money. You go to anyone on the right about this and they're going to say this. All violence is wrong. But what about Antifa? Senator Ted Cruz was just doing that on The View about January 6th. But what about Antifa? Right after the Pelosi news, right after it, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin at a campaign stop made these comments about the attack. While the details are still being sorted out, but the pain is fresh. Listen. Speaker Pelosi's husband, uh, they had a break-in last night in their house, and he was assaulted. There's no room for violence anywhere, but we're going to send her back to be with him in California. That's what we're going to go do. Really? Imagine if it were your wife, Governor, and your opponent said that and got a few muted cheers. Would that be okay with you? You'd go nuts. And all the other leaders in your party that are not calling you out, they'd go nuts, too. Can't just one of you be better than the game? And say, look, I know, imagine this, just the leader says this, I know Nancy, this is horrible. You know, we don't agree politically, but that doesn't matter right now. You know, be a normal person. But the answer is silence. And that's why the game has to go. We have to get something better than the other side is as bad or worse in response to whatever you do. You would never tolerate that weak sauce at home or with your kids or the company that you keep. But we are all allowing it in our politics. We are opting for worse, not better. 
Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.